passe la parole à Ignacio. Ignacio, je l'ai vu. Ah, il est là, voilà. Ignacio, à toi, c'est à toi de parler. Merci. Merci, merci beaucoup, Sylvie. Et merci pour votre invitation à parler aujourd'hui ici, mais aussi, je veux vous remercier pour eh, que vous, vous avez voulu, le conseil d'administration, de me faire partie de les comités, du comité d'experts. Et pour de la vérité, j'aimerais parler en français aujourd'hui, parce que je restais à Bruxelles pendant la plupart de la pandémie, et je pense que je pouvais le faire mieux qu'avant. Mais on doit toujours Ça, suivre top, la recommandation d'Elena. Elena me dit, non, 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 mieux que tu parles en anglais. Alors, je vais le faire en anglais parce que je ne veux pas qu'Elena a la sensation de... Et, et, también me gustaría Bien decir ça. muy brevemente en español que me alegra muchísimo eh, ver que existe eh, eh, en la red Elisan una región eh, española, como es Valencia, con la que me unen muchas cosas y que tanto puede aportar también con su trabajo. But anyway, I will speak in English now. And I will speak in English about our Inclusive Cities project just to give a very, very quick view of it. And I would uh, use some pictures also to see if, if, if with that, you can see how we have evolved during these years. Okay, so we started in 2017, as you know, with the Benetton region and with the purpose to configure an alliance of territories from all over the world, aiming to be inclusive of sustainable families by being responsive to their needs. So that's, that's what we really wanted to do, okay? And, um, you know, that then we elaborated the Benetton region, which was um, really the work of quite a few experts during uh, a year and a half or so. And, and then you can see here, I hope now that in this meeting we had in Venice, we decided the contents of it. From the very beginning, we had with us the United Nations helping, supporting, and advising us. You can see there in Venice, Daniela Vaz, who's the director of the Division of Sustainable Development. Also, founding members were the Département de bouches du rhône the region of Attica in Greece. And since then, other territories have joined like uh, uh, Sao Paulo in Brazil, the state of Paraná, the state of Carinthia, the autonomous region of Friuli Venezia Giulia, the city of Vicenza. And now we have five more territories who are interested in participating. Some of them from America and some of them from Asia. So we we hope to have this 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 also this development. So the signature of the declaration. You know that all signatories are committed to submitting a monetary report every year that we present to the United Nations. That is why you can see there the first presentation of the project at the United Nations Department of Economic and Social Affairs. And uh, also the external evaluation made by the Brazilian University 
Uninove, which is one of the biggest universities in Brazil. No need to say that from the beginning, the whole project has also had the active participation of Ellison, but also some other American and uh, Asian networks, like Family Talks and some others. Then every year at the World Cities Day, we have also made a presentation in the United Nations official celebration with the participation not only of founding members, but also representatives from countries like Malta, Malaysia, Colombia, Ecuador, etc. In November of 2019, we had the first meeting, annual meeting of signatories in Curitiba, Brazil, hosted by the government of the state of Paraná with around 50 participants. All signatories attended, but also observers from Netherlands, Serbia, Sweden, Colombia, Qatar, and other Brazilian states. All of them agreed on a final declaration we called the Curitiba Manifesto. Um, Jean Max uh, was, the, was the one who proposed it. And I think that gave us a very, very interesting way ahead for the future. But of course, we all know that immediately the COVID-19 pandemic arrived and um, with unexpected and unprecedented circumstances and difficulties for authorities and for citizens. But at the same time, it has shown the clear sightedness anticipation of the Venice Declaration, highlighting the family as the reference point of the authentic pillar of society always and even more along with this crisis. As Roberto Ciambetti wrote to all the members of the project, today the Venice Declaration is important, but tomorrow it will be even more important to build a new world and start again together by treasuring what has happened. And meanwhile, our, our activities uh, haven't stopped. Last October, we had online our participation in the observance of the World Cities Day with 65 representatives of different territories of four continents, together with officials from the United Nations and civil society representatives. The discussion we had included the support of local governments and family evidence-based interventions, integrated community and family data, mapping analysis, as well as ways to mitigate the economic impact of the pandemic and initiate the recovery. Last event we had just uh, some weeks ago, it was the publication of the monitoring report of the first year local reports sent by signatories, so produced during 2020. And um, it was presented by all these territories and organizations you can see in the screen. And we have already committed our presentation. We hope that presentially, but with this pandemic, one can really never know. Uh, it, the next month of October. So this was just a very quick view of what our project is about and what we have done. And of course, I remain always available for any common question you may have now and here or by email. Thank you very much. Merci Ignacio, merci beaucoup. Ça fait plaisir de voir ces photos. J'espère qu'on pourra en refaire bientôt. Oui. <rire> merci, à FFD, merci à l'IFFD d'être toujours présent à nos côtés. Merci beaucoup, merci.